Good morning, everyone. Welcome to a new chill reading vlog for the week. I'm currently still working, but I wanted to get on top of some reading after I had done chores. If you hear that, that's laundry. I have three books that I want to read this week. I am a mood reader, so I kind of just randomly picked out what I had on my TBR shelf. The first one is going to be Forbidden by Beverly Jenkins. This would be my first Beverly Jenkins read. I had an audiobook for by her, I think The Tempest, but I had just checked it out, renewed it a bunch of times and never gotten to it, so I didn't actually get the chance to get to that one. The next book is also actually an adult romance, and this is While We Were Dating by Jasmine Guillory. This was released last week, I think, so I want to get to it while it was still sort of fresh in a new release. I'm actually really loving this neon color on here. I really love the covers. This is part of the Wedding Date series. A lot of books that were sort of middle of the road lately in this series because I believe that this is either the sixth or seventh book so I'm a little bit nervous to start this one. And then the last book is a mystery thriller which should be no surprise to anyone because that is my favorite genre. And it's my book of the month for July. And this is Razorblade Tears by S.A. Cosby. I'm just gonna be working for today and I do wanna hit up my library. It has reopened again. It's been quite some time, so I'm really, really pleased that it's finally, finally open. I do have, I think, two books to go pick up that were on hold that are true crime books. <laughs> library i was able to browse a little bit to check out how everything is laid out now so i picked up my book it's a memoir black klansman by ron stallworth i actually went to go see this in theaters with my sister and when i was browsing i happened upon a very popular author by the name of colleen hoover this is regretting you i've heard this author's name countless times and this book title countless times it wasn't even like in the shelf like lined up it was just lying on the shelf it wasn't lined up with the other books it was just lying there and i felt like a sign because i had been talking about this book with my friend before who's actually coming to visit this weekend and so i decided to just pick this one out i did want to pick out a few other books but i decided against it since again my tbr shelf is quite Full. so i stopped at this one I've and been unable to sleep when i want to so i think i need to just tire myself out i'm gonna go for a walk possibly you know go to the bookstore i don't know yet just in case just an all black outfit rather than white and then i'll wear like my white sneakers because of my bag and this is the star of the show i got her from lack of color she's so cute <sighs> I came home, walked a lot, and ended up doing a little bit of like a weighted hula hoop workout for a couple minutes and I promise I'm gonna shower but I thought I would do a book haul like I said my friend is coming into town and her friend is hosting a game night that we got invited to so I decided to hit up Barnes and Noble and look for games because I know they have a good selection and it was nearby I ended up getting two games and um three books I also have a book haul here that i um bought before along with while we were dating but they came separately so i won't make sure to show that i believe i have five or six books in here so the games that i got were i couldn't decide between this one and cards against humanities because i feel like they're classics but i got what do you mean i feel like more people own cards against humanity so i thought this would be really fun i feel like the less people have this one it could be really funny even though sometimes like memes can be subjective but also so is humor the other one that i got is actually a game that i have never owned before it is uno except this one is bts edition and it has a special rule of getting people to dance which i think is really cool i think this could be a really fun game to also get people into bts to just get them listening to your music to their music i didn't know that this existed so i thought this would be really cool i decided to cut the haul because it would have made the vlog too long i also accumulated a bit more books so i will have a separate book haul video dedicated to that instead of including hello including it in this vlog on my walk i did start an audiobook that i wanted to get to i have on hold from the library foolproof love by katie robert it takes place in a town in texas it's like a fake dating romance where jules is kind of trying to make her ex jealous but also to 
make people see that she and her ex Grant aren't perfect and she doesn't want to be with this guy and she is trying to stir the rumor mill with the hellraiser in town named Adam and she wants to sort of scandalize them and create gossip. It's not great just because the narrator's voice is kind of weird. Adam's a bull rider which is so... I've never seen in real life. Very different from my city life, but I'm 44% of my way into it. I definitely see a lot of chemistry there. Adam seems like such a hot bad boy. <laughs> and Jules owns this little, little cat cafe. I can definitely relate to her in the way that she's sort of stuck in how people see her as like this cutesy, shy person. So I'm liking those characters. I read about 140 pages of Forbidden last night or yesterday. It was a little bit stiff in the beginning. It sort of feels more like insta-love. I didn't feel a lot of chemistry in the beginning, although they're it already exists. It's also a little bit hard because this is about Ryan who is passing for white. He is the son of a slave owner and his slave. He fought for the Union in the war. He like switched sides. He was raised in Georgia. Eddie is a black woman who is moving from Colorado and trying to make her way to California to open up her own restaurant and they meet. He saves her in a desert and he only has eyes for her but she thinks that he's white and she knows that they can't be in love. This is like the 1860s i believe the only romance books that i've read in this time period is in england with those regency romances so reading about a romance in old west whatever it's called is weird and strange and new i'm not hating it i know that this is a series so we'll see if they can end up together because ryan is passing for white he is an aspiring politician he has a fiance a white fiance lined up who has no idea about his past and his history so we'll see how this goes. Last night I finished both Foolproof Love by Katie Robert and Forbidden by Beverly Jenkins. Foolproof Love, I'm giving this three stars. I did enjoy reading about Jules and Adam and how they tried to better each other, but I wasn't like super invested into it. That can happen with audiobooks. I will try to continue the series, but I think for the next book, I'm going to look into it at the library for a physical copy. As for Forbidden, I'm going to give this one a 3.5 stars. I felt a little bit weird about the whole situation. Not that like Ryan was lying, because in this case, I didn't feel as weird about it because he was doing it for reasons to protect himself and try to better the situation for black people in his community even at the end like you could tell how bigoted people were and how unwilling they were to try to see black people as anything more than the color of their skin however the boosted 0.5 is and also because the writing at the beginning was a little bit stiff and it was like a little bit rough for me to read at the beginning the point five extra is because i'm now interested in reading more about not just this time period i don't really care about the old west maybe i will continue this series but i'm interested in reading about biracial couples in like this time like after slavery or even before and seeing what their love was like how they overcame that not just about reading it fictionally i'm interested in reading about it like an actual history because i've heard of couples who were together in like the 60s you know but not in like the 1860s so i'm curious to see like how that worked out for them if they were able to push through i've always been kind of curious about stories of people passing if you are interested there is passing by nella larson and also the vanishing half by Britt bennett i'm gonna start a new book today i am not sure if i want to start the thriller or another romance i feel like i've been having a really bad reading year just because i find i'm i've been reading a lot of like three star books and not anything that i've fallen in love with i think i've only had like six five star reads and it's july so i want to really enjoy the next book that i read it's been a few days. My friend has been visiting from out of town, so it's been sort of busy. I'm hoping to finish the last couple pages of this. It's like 90 pages before I go to bed, and I realized I didn't do a check-in at all. So this book is quite violent, actually, and it's sort of like a vigilantism situation, so it's giving me the only good Indian by uh, Stephen Graham Jones vibes, especially because it's for like a loved one too. I'm not quite sure how I feel about it, about like the situation because there's not a lot about like the characters that I could relate to because like one, the white guy is like racist after his son has died coming to realize that like the things that he was saying and the things that he was laughing at as a kid and as an adult was like fucked up and like 
kind of reckoning with the fact that like him and his entire family are kind of all racist and fucked up he has to maybe fix that or work on it really little by little also because he's like an alcoholic and um kind of now that his son is dead that he's everything's kind of just being thrown into his face i'm not really sure how i feel about it i don't read a lot of books that are like overly violent like this as well so not really mixed feelings but a little bit indifferent i'm also realizing that i'm having difficulty with this book because i don't really see the end goal like i know that the end goal is to find the guy who killed or was responsible for the death of their sons but there's not much mystery to it because i don't think that person has been introduced in the book at all it's like very slight the mystery aspect isn't really there for me and it it makes it a little bit boring yeah i guessed it so i finished razor blade tears by s.a cosby i'm like conflicted about what to give it maybe three to four stars it was really really violent and it was like really intense I feel like there wasn't a lot, a lot of character development. I mean, a little bit, but I feel like there wasn't a lot that could be done because their sons are dead. These homophobic fathers are grieving and they want justice for their gay sons, but they're kind of like, oh, I didn't like that they were gay. We got into fights. We didn't get along at all because they were gay. I'm like struggling with that aspect of it. They weren't like lovable characters or anything like that. I think I'm gonna give it a 3.5. I think it's a great read. The writing was pretty good, although I feel like there was a lot of like weird similes, but yeah. I have moved on to While We Were Dating. I'm about 65% of the way through. I'm really liking this. I'm really glad because first of all, Ben such a good character he is the brother of theo who is the main character in the wedding party anna is just so sweet and she's like an oscar nominated actress and he is on an ad campaign that she's in and they get along they're flirting but she has some family emergency and he gets involved helps her out and everything kind of just starts from there i'm not sure what the conflict is gonna be yet because i thought that i kind of guessed what it is but it turned out to not be that i'm hoping for a not like a typical third act romance but jasmine guillory does do that for her books but i'm really really enjoying this so far okay hello cameo from book number two I'm actually realizing now that I'm wrapping up my vlog here. I don't have a single five-star read in July, which really sucks. I've been having a really rough time finding some things. I hope that when I'm doing more of these reading vlogs, I'm reading more stuff, stuff, more stuff that I want to read and like being purposeful about it because, oh boy. <laughs> um, anyway, I thought I would wrap up up my vlog here i'm gonna sleep a little bit early today because i couldn't fall asleep last night number one book number one for this vlog was forbidden by beverly jenkins which i gave a 3.5 star i think i am going to look for more books by beverly jenkins the second book that i finished is razor blade tears by s.a cosby which i also gave 3.5 stars the actual second book that i read was foolproof love an audiobook by katie robert and i gave that 3.5 stars and then the last book is while we were dating by jasmine guillory i'm not sure which i gave four stars uh, i'm not sure if she's going to continue the series at all although i can see some characters that could totally be the main character of the seventh book i really like the little cameos that they had in here they had theo and maddie in here and they had nick and carlos in here nicole and carlos this is kind of weird because since i actually have a video scheduled ahead of time i think this video is not coming out for another few weeks and so i didn't actually need to rush into this reading vlog or rush through my reading vlog so this wasn't a typical monday to sunday vlog i think the next one that i'm going to do i'm gonna try to do that i got to take my time still really did enjoy them you know they weren't awful I definitely really really liked this one and i'm glad that i was able to continue the series if you have any recommendations of five star reads that you had this month or just in general this year let me know because holy shit dude anyway i hope you enjoyed this reading vlog let me know your thoughts about these books if you've read them or your favorite Beverly Jenkins book that you think that I should check out and I'll see you all next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!